The last thing we should do before we line up and roll on takeoff is to check that the flight controls are full and free and operating in the correct sense. Some pilots just give them a bit of a wobble and off they go. Well, that's really not serving the purpose. Many unfortunate accidents have occurred in the past because pilots have taken off with fouled controls or indeed with control locks still in. Another terrible accident I recall uh, occurred because the aeroplane had come out of maintenance with the controls rigged in the reverse sense. How can you tell quickly how, wh whether the controls are rigged in the, in the correct sense? Let's have a look at the control column. Every control surface attached to the control column should raise when the control column is moved towards it. So if I move the control column left and look at the left ailer and it should go up. Look at the right ailer and move the column towards it, it also should, also should go up. If I look toward the elevator and move the column towards it, it goes up too. So that's a quick ready reference for you. It's a good idea not while stationary to check the rudder through full travel because that can put excessive uh, tension on springs and cables. So it's best to check the rudder and brakes on taxi. Mm -hmm. What the fez?